Hey everybody, welcome back to Resident Evil Biohazard VR. Uh, this should be the final episode. Not it was tacked on to the end of the uh, last episode, and we are, I think, going to kill Lucas and maybe Eve. Definitely Eve, but I think Lucas is down here as well. Let's uh, let's kick it off and let's, let's finish this thing. All right, at a save point. Nice. Like that. Flame rounds. Well, we do have the uh, the launcher with us. Actually, we should probably pick up any flame rounds we got. Ah, uh, what else? We got the serum. Two pistols. Now yeah, whatever we'll carry them. We won't be able to juggle them anyway, but... Uh, enhanced handgun ammo. I feel like a shotgun would probably be a good idea too, but... Some kind of vault there. That's probably where Eve's at, right? Build floor bomb. Chem fluid. Well, I kind of want to pick up the chem fluid, but... What kind of ammo is that? 44 mag? We don't have the 44 mag, do we? Nor do I think we will. I think we're better off... Uh... Making more health here. We gotta be getting kind of close to our holding cell here. I'd say that's her. I mean, if the Jack Baker fight is anything. This is not going to be pretty. Hi, Eve. Die. No, I don't think I will. Fuck. You dropping him from the sky? Oh, I can just run from him, can I? Maybe? Nope, just kidding. I see some distance here. Actually, do mm. go see what we left back here. Herb. Anything else? Not really. Or not at all. <laughs> yep. Those remote bombs are so good. Like, amazingly good. Here's stuff squishing around, I don't know. Shotgun shells. Um, and I don't know, I guess we check here first. I hear nothing. <laughs> So tanky. I'm regretting not having the shotgun now. I really am. There's a remote bomb. I 
keep giving us shotgun shells too. We should have taken one shotgun. How did we not take one shotgun? So silly. Still coming out there. I'm warm. No, we are about out of ammo here. And we may have to go back down, get the shotgun and come back up. Sure, I guess that's what we wanted to do. What did I just unequip there? The uh, grenade launcher. What do we have? Oh, we have nine shots. That's why. Oh boy. Uh. Okay. No, this is fine. Let me just. Let me just. Let me just. You're getting wrecked here. Are you guys kidding me? I didn't have a chance there. No shot. Grenade launchers on three? No, that's the burner. Where's our grenade launcher? Oh, it's there. Which one is that? Three. I think we're definitely going to have to use this here. One more. That's totally worth. Uh... Did we really just miss? Please sit down. She ain't gonna ammo, nice. We're back in business. Yeah, those things really hurt. Warm machine ammo, nice. I don't trust Lucas at all. These are the small ones. Okay. We're getting there. Maybe. Quick, get it. Okay, this way. And shimmy through walls here. 
More machine gun ammo. Mine map. Day point. That's gotta be Lucas and Eve, isn't it? I don't know. I mean, Lucas was definitely down here. It was Grandma. It's the doll. And Grandma. Oh, I remember this room. Okay. Oh, I see what happened here. <gasps> it's not here. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah, I didn't poop myself. Infected zero zero one. So grandma, is that what that means? No, wait a second. <gasps> you guys. Eve is grandma. Eve's been grandma this whole time. The whole time. Oh, that was so good the way they did that. I put the picture there to... It all ends right where it started. That's so good. And it was grandma this whole time. I know you're not real. This is your fault. Why am I seeing this? Ethan, oh, it's okay. Geez. It's okay, it's me. That one gets me. That, one, I know you that one's perfectly me. timed. Kill him, mommy. Oh, but you shouldn't have done that. It fucking hurts. Does it want to be my daddy? Then he. Can die. Now it's mommy's turn to kill you. Uh huh. She can be upstairs? In the attic? Open that door. Ethan, help me. That's what I'm trying to do. Well, I mean, not really, but Fighting this again right now? I am. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Where the fuck are you? She's in the kitchen, isn't she? She'll be on the porch. Watching the sunset. I see you, Eve. That is your real name. <laughs> You're gonna be one of us. And then maybe you'll play nice. Doubt it. I'm not playing. No! Get that away from me! <laughs> This is fake, right? I'm not taking damage here, am I? Get out of here, Mia. Your parlor tricks won't work on me, Steve. That was a bit spooky. Is 
back upstairs or down this way? I don't want to hurt you. I'll tell you, we have to go through all this again. I don't think I can die here. I, yeah, I don't think I can. Eve's power is waning. Where are you, Eve? Pathetic. There you are, Eve. Stay away! Nope. Don't. Might I have to fight her now? I wonder. Get away! Space to guard. Oh, I just need to get close, huh? Coming for you, Eve. No, no. I got the antidote. Stop, stop, stop. No. No, no, no. We've done it. <laughs> they didn't get me. It hurts! It hurts! It hurts! Damn you! Damn you all to hell! Stay Griffin, everybody. Really? Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, I have no more. Uh... Let's keep burning. Did you just kill me? Are you kidding me? No way! Manage items. Just keep attacking her and stay out of her way. Bro. You. So we can't run, right? We're stuck in this little room where we have like a clock to kill her in. You know, I said any kind of gun here would be nice. Like a shotgun. Stop it, Ethan, you're hurting me. Ooh, get out of here. Did I die again? 
No. Finally. I'm a big pal, Dad. What am I supposed to do here? I can't do anything. It's kind of like a. What am I supposed to do? I mean... That was literally all the ammo we had, so... Is this pistol thing on her? I got. You've done it. Man, that was intense. Redfield. Hey. I'm glad we found you. I know you. Uh, the fuck took you guys so long? Exactly. Exactly. Ethan? Come on, Mia makes it out alive? You made it. I'm glad. Did I? Maybe. They say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing Mia. You believe that? She's back and wants to start over. Put all this behind us. Maybe this is where the next door opens. Fantastic. What a great game. That's perfect. So many good moments in that game. Everybody's 
Interesting uh, end credits here. Swamp Gators. I love the way they did this. I didn't realize there was a full length uh, song for this either. Fantastic game. Probably the best VR game I've played today. Uh, by far. Uh, there's been a couple other good ones, but... I mean, the scope of what they did here was uh, uh, so good. And uh, maybe one of the... Actually, probably the best horror game I've played as well. Uh, by far, too. Yeah, it was like movie-level quality of... Uh, it was like better than a movie. Really good. All the wonderful people that worked on this game. The environment artists. As many as I would have thought. Let's see, is that screwing up what you guys are seeing? No, I guess it's stabilized now. Facial animator. I can't hear the is there music playing. Got a little bit of light ambiance. Capcom. So if Resident Evil 8 is is as good as that one is, uh, it's going to be amazing. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I wasn't really too excited about it. Like I said, I'm not a really big Resident Evil player. I've played uh, a little bit of the third one, I think. Uh, and I've seen some of the remake of the second one. I have this, the remake of the second one. I haven't got a chance to play it yet. Um, yeah, I haven't really gotten involved in it at all and I'm really happy with this. And when I saw the previews for this one, I mean it's uh, completely different from the other ones. I know a lot of people didn't necessarily like uh, the direction with this one, but uh, I thought it was great and I really hope they do more like this in the future. Really do. And I think Resident Evil 8 is supposed to be kind of in that same vein. And that might be uh, the direction they're trying to take the franchise now. Rather than what we see in, uh, excuse me, the, the original Resident Evil. Oh, don't quote me on that. Or maybe it uh, skips, skips around a little bit. I'm not, I'm not sure how they do it, but I'd love to see more like this. Um, horror suspense, uh, real grimy, gritty type type games from the series. Amazing. Um, I'm not sure what we're gonna play after this. I don't think we're going to do the achievements on the stream or on uh, the channel. Um, I might do them on my own time, or maybe maybe I'll try to do one video where I like, go through all of them. I don't know. Probably not though. Um, I don't think we're going to play the, the Resident Evil Two remake after this. I'm kind of leaning towards Sekiro. Um, I don't know. I, I see how I feel that day when I go to record, but that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Um, probably, probably try to shy away from horror for a little bit. Um, although I really did enjoy that. I haven't actually really played 
through. I mean, I've got quite a few horror games in my my library, but I haven't actually been able to get through many of them uh, past the beginning. And just just to sit down and play it. I mean, it's it's something else to get into. And I, don't know, I just haven't really really got into them like I did this one. It was fun, really fun. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I did for sure, and I highly recommend if you haven't played it. Um, really, if you've gotten this far and you haven't played it, uh, sorry. Because uh, this is one of those games that I think you really want to play through before you watch somebody else play it, experience it. Highly recommend the VR too. Uh, whether you're using PSVR or uh, another headset with third party software, like uh, Vorpex that we're using here to do this. Just a phenomenal game. really was good. I I knew it was going to be good, and I tried to wait so long to play it until they released an official VR, you know, their own presentation for uh, PC. And, uh, yeah, it's been a while, and they haven't, they're not going to do it. They're already working on it. I hope they do 8 in VR. I really do. Uh, for PC. They'll do it for PS VR. I don't know if, um, PlayStation's got a, uh, a VR kit coming with the new PS5. I think think they do? I was actually talking to my brother-in-law about it uh, last weekend. And uh, I think he said they were. I haven't looked into it because I don't plan on buying a PlayStation 5. Uh, at least not today, I don't. Uh, in the future, that could change. But I hope they do it for PC because I would love to play it um, right away. And even if they don't, I might, I might try to do something with Corpex and hopefully that works too. Uh, the bad part was when they released it on PS4, it was like a... I think it was... I can't remember if they did a PS4 exclusive for a year and then released a non-VR version on PC. Or it was released at the same time and uh, it just wasn't VR. I can't remember how it went out. But. Yeah, please do Resident Evil, Resident Evil, Resident Evil 8 that way. I, I, there's a lot of talk about them doing it. You know how that goes. If they have to sell, uh, you know, I don't, who, who knows what they're doing. But hopefully we get eight. Eight's not really the uh, the type of setting I, I particularly enjoy. Like I really like this um, American Horror setting. But if it's as good as and suspenseful and as gritty and well done as this was, I mean, I'll definitely I'll definitely play it for sure. Definitely buy it as soon as it comes. Yeah, it was amazing. So many testers. I'm surprised we didn't see Lucas there at the end, really. Um, I kind of like how they decided to not make make it so you had to fight Lucas, but uh, you kind of fought him indirectly. Right? It was different. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm real surprised that the grandma wound up being the, uh, the test, right? The uh, original infection, E001. So she wasn't even part of the family, right? Baker family. Uh, that's an interesting twist. So many people work on this game. It's kind of crazy how many people it takes to make a game like this. I mean, there's all the people that do the, um, you know, that actually make the game, and there's all the people around it to support the game. A lot of people involved. Tons of people. I can't say they all did a fantastic job, but overall, uh, I mean, I don't know that for sure, right? The game turned out magnificent. Magnificent. I don't know if this game won any awards or not. You can probably look here. I don't know if uh, tabbing on this is going to cause an issue. The capture? No. Let's just see. It's kind of a habit we have on this channel is to uh, let the credits play out. I'd be surprised if this game didn't win any awards. Award. 
Game Award for Best VR Game. Yeah, that's fair. That's totally fair. Uh, by far. I mean, I've played it. The thing is about most VR games is a lot of them wind up being feeling like tech demos or um, uh, not AAA, a AAA game. And the ones that are AAA, just they're not full games. And this was like the first full AAA game that I played in VR. And I do have um, Half Life Alex. I heard it's fantastic as well. I won't go with another VR title right after this. Um, if that tells you anything about how uh, how much I really wanted to play this, that I decided to play that, this over that, right? Which is a fairly new game that we could have played on this channel, but I really wanted to take this opportunity to finally get a chance to play this game all the way through. And I did want to play it in VR rather than just. Uh, just play it normal, which is why it took me so long to get to it. Really, I was waiting for them to do the official release. Never happened. And Capcom, and players like you. Bouvet, Louisiana. I wonder if the same, the characters are the same in um, all the other uh, ports of the game, like where they release this in Japan, if it's the same family in the same same city, same state, that kind of thing. Oh, we've got some after store here, I think. My pager's going off. Um, well, that's like our stats. It's where the menu gets cut off inside of the VR stuff. Number of steroids used, how long you played this game, save data. Number of restarts used. At 13 out of the 20 statues. Oh, 18 coins. 27 out of 32 files. 60 item box opens. This is an achievement for only opening the item box four times. Is something maybe you'd want to do on uh, we've unlocked Madhouse, which is the difficult difficult or difficult difficult mode. Um and also a weapon called Albert 01R. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's the thing we got at the very end. Secret defense, I don't be adding the item box. Secret defense. It's just a phenomenal game. Uh alright guys. I think that's gonna do it for this episode in this series. Uh, if I have any more updates on it, I'll make another video and we'll just uh, catch it on to this playlist. Which may or may not happen, I don't know. But uh, that's going to do it for uh, this one. Expect a new series tomorrow and uh, see you tomorrow for that. Alright guys, take care of yourselves. See you next time. See you guys.